Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Mother for the NES and Game Boy Advance and Wii U, I think. I think I got all of those down. Last time, in the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we fought a couple of lamps and a doll. We talked to our dog and we got a bat as long as our great-grandfather, along with our great-grandfather's diary. And in this episode, after all that random stuff, we're actually gonna head outside. So I thought I'd go ahead and explain the controls a bit better, because in the last episode I just explained the commands in the top left. So, A button, that just pulls up the command tab. The B button, it pulls up your stats. L, that automatically selects whichever command is, is appropriate for that time. And R, if you hold that down, that's the run button. If you press start, it shows you a map of the entirety of America. Well, not the entirety of America, but just this little section. And select, it also brings up the little stats window there. Also, fun little fact, in the NES version, if you held down the run button, it didn't actually make your character run, it just sped up the game two times, but it kept the music the same speed. Uh, but you could hold down the run bu button and make a bunch of NPCs like freak out and it was really funny. But they fixed in the GBA version. Anyways, we're going to talk to this lady. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. My dear Pippi's gotten lost. If you're going into the town, please tell the mayor for me, okay? So yeah, uh, her daughter it has gone missing. Her name is Pippi. I think she's named after Pippi Longstockings. I think that's a children's book character. But yeah, welcome to Mother's Day. So all of the towns in the in this game, or at least most of the towns, are named after holidays. So we've got Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, and Valentine. The only one that's weird is Reindeer. But I guess... Wait, no, there isn't a Christmas one. Huh, they could have called Reindeer Christmas. But there's also Santa Claus Station, but... I don't know, that's just kind of weird. So we're gonna head into town here. And just like we were asked, we're gonna head over to the mayor. But first off, I want to show you something real quick. Uh, there's this mouse over here, and if we talk to it... I'm the Meddlesome Mouse. In towns, there's some houses you can, can go inside, and some you can't. Houses with round doors or signs on them are the ones you can go into. If you try to go into any of the other ones, you'll just hit your head. Well, bye! So yeah, this has a rounded off door. But this doesn't have a round door or a sign, so we can't go inside. That was just a thing to uh, save limited space on the NES cartridge originally. So yeah, right here we have Mother's Day Town Hall. Got some fun little music here. I don't know, this task might be a little too much for you to handle, but I still have high hopes for you anyway. Well, you see, a child has strayed into the cemetery, and as luck would have it, I'm up for re-election soon, so please help me. Oh, you'll do it? You'll go and rescue her? Come back alive and you'll be a hero. I'd go with you, but I'm not feeling well. So yeah, corrupted mayors are a theme in the Mother series. But we're just gonna forget about that uh, missing child for now, and we're gonna go ahead and buy a pet real quick. As you can see, all our animals have escaped. All we have left is this canary chick. Interested in buying it? Sure thing. Then how about for $85? I'm broke. How about for free then? Come on, take it. Oh, crud, you can't carry any more stuff. But yeah, if you just say, no, I don't want to pay that amount, then they'll just give you the canary. Gotta go through our te the text again. So yeah, we get the canary, and... I accidentally left home without putting the, uh, the basement key that we have. Uh, I need to put that away. If we give it to our sister Minnie, then she'll store it for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll cut back to here when I've gotten everything. Okay, so cut here. Nintendo leveled up to level 4. Fight went up by 3, speed went up by 3, wisdom went up by 3, strength went up by 2. Force went up by 2, max HP went up by 1, max PP went up by 5, Nintendo learned a new PSI in battle. I think that's, uh, hypnosis? Healing. So healing alpha is for healing ailments and stuff like that. 
So life up is for just healing your HP and healing is for stuff like poison and stuff like that. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and give the basement key to Minnie and uh, I'll cut back when I'm back at Mother's Day. Okay, I'm back at Mother's Day here and if we head over here, there's a secret little path and we have this sign, Canary Village Ahead, let's nurture nature together. It's a nice little slogan. Oh, and we have a random enemy. This is a centipede. This is basically the Goomba of the game. They only give you one XP and they're pretty easy to defeat, so you shouldn't have any problems with them. Took a few more hits than I was expecting, but other than... So yeah, that's the thing that'll happen a lot. There are a lot of random encounters in here. There's a repel ring that we can get later. But yeah, for now we have to just sit through this. I'll go ahead and cut out all of the random encounters. Oh, gosh dang it. Nintendo leveled up to level 5. Fire went up by 3, speed went up by 3, wisdom went up by 2, strength went up by 2, force went up by 3, max HP went up by 4, max PP went up by 6. So now we're headed through here. There should be a bridge, I think? Yeah, here's the bridge. And that leads to these walls around here, and this is the Canary Village. This is basically a wildlife reserve. We have some birds here, but they don't seem to want to talk to us. So let's go find someone we can talk to. Meanwhile, there are these... I don't know if they're like tombstones or statues or something like that, but there's this white one among the other like goldish ones. And yeah, there are question marks there. And right Outside there, we have a canary that's running around there, and uh, we'll have to keep that in mind for a little bit later. Right here, we have a person that actually wants to talk to us. Oh, that canary is Laura the Songbird's baby. So yeah, the canary we got at the store was actually uh, the baby of one of the birds here. Which is kind of messed up if you think about it, because they just went to this wildlife preserve and took one of the birds and sold it for profit. It's messed up. Go take it to her. Now where did I last see Laura? Well, we actually recently saw Laura. She's actually the bird behind here, and you might be ha you might be saying, how do we get there? Well, this one right here, this little tombstone looking thing, you can actually slip behind it, and we can talk to Laura. I'm Laura. Good talk. Uh, go ahead and give her the baby canary. Laura the songbird was so happy to see her baby again that she began singing. So yeah, that's the second melody, so we're a fourth of the way through the game in terms of melodies. And since we got the second melody, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the third melody, see if we can save the lost child, and just see anything else we can do around town. Gosh dang it, random encounters. But I hope you got- I'll just cut to Mother's Day and do the outro there. Okay, I'm gonna actually fully do the outro without being interrupted by random encounters. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and see what else we can do around town. Try to get the third melody and save the lost child Pippi. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye You're a disgrace to your mom. <laughs>